everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this evening update. I hope that you have been enjoying your Thursday and you might be in prep mode as Tammy nears the Caribbean. So impacts will start as soon as tomorrow for some areas and there is a plethora of watches and warnings in place ahead of the storm which may intensify into a hurricane in the vicinity of the northeastern islands. So we're going to be taking a look at the latest from the National Hurricane Center and we'll also be talking about what is currently happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well. So let's get straight into it and we're kickstarting things looking at the vicinity of the uh, Caribbean going to parts of the South Caribbean and Northern South America. We can see that there is quite a bit of thunderstorm activity across some areas going to Colombia, Venezuela, the Guyanas and uh, even down in the Southwest Caribbean, especially offshore of the Southern Central American territories, Costa Rica, Panama, we can see some activity there. The stationary front is still in the area producing some heavy rains across uh, sections of Honduras, maybe even going to Nicaragua as well. And then as we head near the, uh, Grand Cayman, there we can see that there is some convection in the area with the thunderstorms elsewhere across the region. Uh, even going over to the eastern islands, as we take a look at the northeastern islands, the Leeward Islands, there we can see some thunderstorms popping up as well. Just as forecast this morning, and I have seen the comments from you guys uh, about the rainfall activity for your area, so you can leave those comments down below as well and let me know what's happening as of this afternoon. But but let's go out into the Atlantic and there we have Tammy. So Tropical Storm Tammy has been strengthening and might manage to actually make it to hurricane status in the vicinity of the islands. So we can think of just how intense impacts could be as we're going to be heading into this weekend. So let's quickly go on to this cone forecast here and there we can see all these colors, these watches and warnings which are in effect. So highlighted in pink is a hurricane watch that is in effect for Guadeloupe and then Antigua and Barbuda headed to Montserrat and St. Kitts and Nevis. So those areas are under a hurricane watch. So hurricane conditions will be possible within the next 48 hours or two days time. You can think of it as that. Next, we have a tropical storm warning that is in blue. That is in effect for Guadeloupe, Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis. So the same areas under that hurricane watch under a tropical storm warning. So those tropical storm conditions are likely to begin as we head into tomorrow. Next is a tropical storm watch that is in yellow. So many more areas under these watches this evening. Tropical storm watch in effect for Barbados, Dominica, Martinique, Anguilla, St. Bartholomew, Seba and St. Eustatius, St. Martin, the entire island to those conditions, those tropical storm conditions, those will, those will be possible within the next 48 hours or so. And so what about the impacts? How many inches of rainfall should you guys be expecting? Well, as it relates to rainfall activity, three to six inches with maximum amounts up to 10 inches across portions of the Northern Windward and the Leeward Islands. So from Martinique, Dominica, and even headed toward Barbados, potentially uh, headed up into Guadeloupe, going to St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Seba, St. Eustatius, uh, St. Barthelemy, St. Martin, headed to Anguilla, and even to Antigua and Barbuda, those areas could experience these rainfall amounts. And, and this is through to Sunday, so not all expected in just one day, but uh, through to Sunday. And then up to four inches at maximum for the British and US Virgin Islands. So some areas might not receive much at all. It might not be anything more than a regular shower or thunderstorm for some areas uh, that is intermittent at times. But at the same time, for some areas, there could be those periods of very heavy rainfall, which trigger flooding. So for eastern Puerto Rico, the British and the U.S. Virgin Islands, there could be those conditions. Eventually, we may see some watches in place, but as of right now, as it stands, there are no watches for those islands, at least not yet. And so let us go back to that cone forecast for Tammy. And here we can see that it could become a hurricane. That H represents hurricane intensity, maybe as we head into Saturday morning. But as of right now, it is a strong tropical storm with maximum sustained winds up to 6 miles per hour. So it's not too far from achieving hurricane status and it has a window of opportunity to do so. It is in an area of very warm waters. The dry air isn't being a big concern for it right now. It's kind of shared but overall there should be a window of opportunity for it to strengthen and right now as I speak the hurricane hunters are flying inside the cyclone uh, to give us more accurate data on what is happening with it. So of course if there is the need I will make a community post giving you guys any significant or 
major updates regarding Tammy. And so uh, afterwards, as we head into Sunday, the system should make its way out of the vicinity of the Allens and eventually make that curve out. So that curve is still expected, but notice how much the cone widens. Uh, it's more narrow headed to now on Thursday compared to going further out into next week. That is because uncertainty increases with time. So there can be changes, there can be shifts and adjustments with the track. So uh, we definitely have to keep an eye on this system. Now going on to the track guidance. Now this is what the various models have to say. We can see that the majority are expecting that yes, this will be making its way into the vicinity of the Leeward Islands. And uh, in terms of intensity, they're quite a bit expecting that it will certainly achieve hurricane status. So that is a big possibility on the table right now. So can Conditions will be deteriorating as we head into tomorrow uh, with those winds starting to pick up, maybe some intermittent showers, uh, even those rough seas as well, especially the Atlantic side of the various islands. You will notice that it's getting choppier out there. So uh, the winds, the rain, all the impacts can result in further impacts, such as those mudslides, landslides of flooding. As we know, that's the biggest concern here. Power outages as well. So it is important that uh, preparations are made for this system if you're under a water if you're under a warning, please take the necessary precautions, make those necessary tests to protect yourself and your loved ones and your pets as well. Let's not leave out the pets. So uh, we have to make these tests to ensure that all is protected as best as possible. So that is the latest for Tammy right now. And going over into the Pacific, we've got Norma. So Norma has rapidly intensified into a major hurricane and it is now sustaining winds of 130. 30 miles per hour. So it is a Cat 4 hurricane and a tropical storm watch. A tropical storm watch has been issued for Las Islas Maria. So those areas could experience tropical storm conditions within about 48 hours or so. And so uh, as we look at this cone forecast, we can even see the Southern Baja uh, under that hurricane watch, which is highlighted in pink. So hurricane watch in effect from Todos Santos to Los Bariles. So those areas could experience hurricane conditions within 48 hours or so. So uh, this is definitely one to watch. The good news, it is going to weaken. So it won't be approaching as a major hurricane. Nonetheless, those impacts could be pretty dangerous for those sections of Mexico. As usual, guys, I'll be keeping you posted on the system. And uh, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I trust and hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weather wise.